Hello, welcome. In this short video, uh, we will learn how to plot a basic signal such as the unit step function or the unit step signal using uh, computational tool such as MATLAB. So we are going to look at plotting the unit step signal using MATLAB. So the definition of the unit step signal that we are going to look at is u of t is equal to 1 for values of t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for t less than 0. So we are going to learn how to plot this function using MATLAB. So for that purpose let us move on to MATLAB. So this is the uh, MATLAB script or code for uh, plotting the unit step signal. Uh, so basically uh, there are two main components. The first one is uh, first we have to set up the sampling interval uh, and then we have to set up the starting point and starting point and the ending point and then we define the function so here we set up the sampling uh, interval as 1 by 100 and then the signal starts at minus 10 and ends at 100 for convenience and then we define the signal x as a zeros for all values of t and then uh, we use the definition of unit step that is for any value of t greater than or equal to 0 we make x equal to 1 thus we have the unit step uh, signal definition and then we plot the signal with the uh, time on the x-axis and the signal itself on the y-axis so let us run and see the results so we can clearly see that the signal uh, value is 0 until t is equal to 0 and for t greater than or equal to 0 the value is 1 so this is a illustration of the unit step signal uh, now we can rewrite this code such a way that can, uh, that can be reused in other applications so that means we can write the unit step part that is generating the unit step signal as a function that is we write this function my unit step uh, with three variables limit 1 limit 2 and n limit 1 is the starting point of the unit step signal and limit 2 is the ending point and then n is the uh, sampling rate or 1 by n is the sampling interval so then t becomes that is the time value becomes limit 1 uh, to limit 2 and the interval value is 1 by n and then again we generate the signal and then use the definition of unit step to make sure that x of t greater than or equal to 0 is equal to 1 in other words uh, the function value is 1 for all values of t greater than or equal to 0 now we can simply call this function in another program that is for example here we have limit 1 is equal to minus 10 limit 2 is equal to 100 n is equal to 100 and then we just send these parameters to the function my unit step and we get the output vectors t and x and we can plot them so let us see the results again so again we get identical results that is uh, the value is 0 until t equal to 0 and after t greater than or equal to 0 uh, we have 1 so that satisfies the definition of unit step signal to summarize in this video we have looked at plotting of the unit step signal using MATLAB so uh, that means unit step signal is defined as 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for t less than 0 and the graphical representation of unit step signal looks like this so it is 0 for t uh, less than 0 and 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 at 0 there is a discontinuity and now we also look done in the MATLAB plot uh, this is a script where we have our starting point and ending point of the unit step signal and then we write a function my unit step in which we br we build that function based on the definition of this function or the signal and then we plot it so that we can uh, get the result and compare it with the actual plot so there is a perfect agreement thanks for watching